Welcome back to this video. This is Saifu tutorial on how to create a function in Excel. Now, the first part of the video, we first declared the variables which we needed with the left functions and we declared an end calculation which we want for the left function. Now we need a function that can allow us to sort of create a function. And at the tail end of the previous video, I mentioned the lambda function. Now, lambda function, if you can click on equals to lambda, so I'm press control A. Remember, if you don't use the function, this helps you explain it a lot. It creates a function value which can be called within a formula. So it's, it's a function that can allow you to create different functions. There's also lambda in Python as well and other programming language as well. But in Excel, you can just see that it's helping you to create your own custom function. Now, what lambda asks for is two things, a parameter or a calculation. Your parameter is just your, your parameter is just like those first value, those variables that are basically declared already. Those are technically your parameters, which they will just be like your arguments in your function, which we are going to create right now. So without wasting for much of our time, let's go into creating. So I'm first going to say equals to lambda, Lambda, the first thing I'm going to declare is the first parameter, first underscore V, comma. Now I don't need to, I don't need to keep the value for the first value um, parameter because the led function has already done that already for me. I can declare the second parameter, second underscore V. Now the last parameter I need to declare is the third underscore the third v now the person that we need to the person that we need to use this formula we have to provide the first value the second value and the third value from their end they will have to be the one to provide this when you create your own custom function so that's to be in mind now for this last one well i should have copied the left formula a bit already. So I'll just click on this. I'll get a calc error. I'll change it to the let formula. So I'm just going to copy this section of the formula on to C. Skip, come to this. And this last section, I can just paste it to the let formula. So the let formula is the last argument of the, of the lambda. Remember I said lambda as for parameter or calculation. So this is the calculation for the lambda. The moment you have this done, one last thing I would recommend is probably you lock your values because it sometimes changes, it shifts a bit uh, when you keep it in place. Now, this is for my own example. You For your own example, you'll probably do it in another way. I look forward to seeing what you can use do with the let and lambda function as well. But I'm just locking it so it doesn't move as well. So the moment I've done this, I copy this. Then I just need to define this as a name in my formula bar in Excel. You can come to the define name under your formula bar. Define name. Define name. I'm going to call this. The previous one, I called it Joseph underscore division. I'll just call this uh, test, test div. Now this is what the name of your fun function or formula will be, test underscore div. I can just keep a comment on it, what it is generally. Add, adding two numbers and dividing. last number then under this refers to this is where i paste in my function as well this is where i paste in my function as well then moment i'm done with everything i can just click on okay now let's reference this function i'll just call it equals to test underscore div the first value i have is this first value second value i have is this second value and the third value is this third value. And I can click OK, and we get the same result. I hope you found this video 
helpful and insightful. Underneath this video, you will have a mini, mini um, summary of what the LED function does in more detail and what the Lambda function does in more details. And you can now apply it to your specific use case scenario. But I hope you've learned a thing or two on how you can create your own custom function in Excel. Thank you.